Hi everybody, Dave Winder here and welcome to the Racer Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher. The coach will join us in just a moment, but first, coming up on today's Racer Report, well, Murray State has kicked off the 2013 season. We will wrap up the highlights in the game today from the Saturday game at Missouri. It was also Mikhail Miller's first game as the quarterback for Murray State. We'll talk about that. A racer trio of receivers return to the Show Me State. And then we'll also talk about the home opener coming up this weekend at Stewart Stadium. And the racers come home for two straight this weekend at Stewart Stadium. And before we leave today, the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley with his best calls. The Racer Report begins right now. And hi folks and welcome to this week's Racer Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher, Dave Winder here. And before we get to what happened in Columbia on Saturday, Coach, let's go ahead and just remind the fans that the Murray State is at home Saturday for the home opener against Campbellsville, 6 o'clock, it's senior day, and we're looking forward to that. As a matter of fact, the racers are at home the next two weeks, and uh, we will uh, look forward to that. But right now, let's get into what happened at Missouri on Saturday, Coach, a 58-14 defeat. But I, I heard you on your post-game radio show, a lot of positives to take out of this one. Well, I really think so, Dave. You know, we um, with 12 minutes to go in the second quarter, we were actually leading the ball mm -hmm. game. And, and, and I thought that we did some really good things. Um, offensively, we controlled the tempo early in the game. Defensively, we forced a couple turnovers. We played um, some, some balls really well, especially in the secondary. And I thought, other than three plays, we tackled extremely well. And then you go to the special teams, um, I, we held our own. And again, we talked last week headed into the show, you're playing a team in the SEC, has 22 scholarships more than you do, uh -huh. it's over 100 degrees, <laughs> you have no depth. Um, yeah, is it tough getting beat as a competitor? Sure. Sure. Um, but out of all the money games that we've played since I've been the coach here, um, this was the best we've played. And I'm really excited about us moving forward. If our guys will be coachable, they'll put the egos in the back pocket, they'll take the coaching, they'll learn from it, and commit to getting better. Um, I really like our team, and I'm excited about it um, after seeing the film from the game against Missouri. Well, we're going to go ahead and roll the first half highlights here we mentioned uh, coach uh, how um how hot it was! Uh, you you said it was it was maybe 110, 115 down on the field when this game started. Well, that they told me that if you put a thermometer in the in the turf, it was 158 starting the ball oh game in, in in the turf. But um, here we go. We we end up kicking off, and it was really good to see Carson Griffin Camp here from Murray. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he had a touchback on the opening kick, and um, he was excited, and so were we. Um, we come out and. Um, and, and, you know, they have three big receivers that, um, I tell you what, they were really big all the way around, and that wore down on us um, as the, the, the game went along. I think early on um, it was tough for us to get adjusted to the speed of the game, um, and, but, but we held our own. Um, you know, they have two fine running backs. I think both of those players will be, um, be NFL players. And um, I thought Daryl Smith, 28, had a, a really good ball game. And um, th so they got a little momentum going. They get the ball across midfield. Um, they throw a swing pass out. And you can see we, we rally to the football really well there. Um, we force a turnover. And um, I think um, Darian Skinner comes up with it. Big play in the ball game. Um, a little bit of a confidence booster that we needed at that time. Absolutely. This 1350 uh, to go in the first quarter. So the racers get their first drive going, and you had some success right Yeah, we did. We, um, we ran the draw play good there. Um, Dwayne Brady um, out of St. Augustine, Florida. And then we get the Walter Powell in the mix early on in the ball game. Our All-America wide receiver. Um, and here's a really nice play. We have a little rollout to the left, and nobody's there. And um, this is the reason we like Mikael Miller so much. He's just a tremendous runner. Um, we got to get his completion percentage up, but he really moves the pocket well. Um, and, and we come down and we hit Walter Powell um, for a little for his first touchdown of the season. 
um, and all of a sudden, you know, our guys are, are, are having a lot of confidence. And um, that crowd, I tell you what, boy, they were really, really <laughs> hushed at that point of the ball game. And then Jordan Benton comes through, kicks the extra point um, to give us a, a seven nothing lead, I believe. At that yeah, time. it was uh, Walter Powell's sixteenth uh, or seventeenth career. Uh, touchdown as a racer. Now Missouri hit a big pass and then they punched it in. Hansborough got it in. So now it's a 7-7 game, just under 12 minutes to go in the first quarter. And then Miller hits uh, Paul Rice. Uh, of course, we had three of our, our boys who were coming back to Missouri, uh, and they loved that, didn't they? Oh, they were excited. Great play by Paul there. And um, this was a third and long situation. We go to roll out, and Janowski Davis gets a little seen. Great throw by Mikhail to him. We settle for a field goal attempt. We hook it to the left. Um, disappointing that we didn't get points on the board at that particular time. So and that's still it's still seven seven nine thirty eight to go in the first quarter. There's the Hansboro kid again. This was a fifty one yard TD run, uh, but you blocked the extra point. Zach Dean blocked it. It's a thirteen seven game. Well, I, I tell you that's um, a, a big thing for me as we watch Navar Griffin, another young man from St. Louis. Um, you tell a lot about a defense, how they play um, after on the PAT field goal, and that was a uh, ended up being a big block, you know, especially early in the game. So we go to a no back set, and Mikhail, um, the the draws there, um, and this was a very impressive drive for us as we hit Jamal Barry over the middle um, for a first down, and um, you know we, we're wearing their defense now. We're really doing whatever we want to do. Great run by Dwayne Brady for I don't know about 16 yards or so. Um, and we kind of got them on the ropes a little bit. Um, and, and, and right here, um, we set up a, a fourth down situation with that run with Jamal. Um, I don't know if we were here. Yeah, I think this is the play you know, okay. where, you, where you got the first down. And, Coach, there was a, there was a pass interference penalty on an interception in here that, that was in your favor that kept the drive going too, right? Well, yeah, well, that, that was yeah. big for us. And, um, and you know, we, we kept it alive. And now, we're, you know, we're down here. We're getting closer. We converted a fourth down. Um, it's, it's third down and goal um, at this situation. And we throw what we call the duck. Um, we, we, we throw it about once a year. How and, high did he throw uh, that ball? Well, he had to get over the defensive <laughs> line, and I believe that play made the top 10 ESPN play. So we're excited about that, and we kick the extra point through, and all of a sudden um, we're up 14-13 headed into the second quarter. Well, Coach, I forgot to tell you before we start, this is where we're looking at the end zone play of, of that play. But, uh, you know, Harness, he has to sell it to go to his right and then throw it back across, and it worked perfectly. Yeah, it did, and Mikhail made a great spin move, and um, actually you watch Drew Kelly, if he just locks on his man a little bit more, it's a walk into the end zone. But um, we call that 60 duck. Been running that one for a long time, Dave. Okay, so now we go to the uh, second quarter, and the racers uh, have the lead now, 14-13, 12-10. Uh, uh, Missouri missed a field goal. Uh, you got it going again, but this was an unfortunate pass uh, by Miller, uh, picked off by Gaines. Well, this was one of those situations where um, you know Miller's inexperience really showed. He, he should have gone to the the wide side of the field, and we we uh, made just a bad decision. And then they hit us with a hitch and go to go up twenty to thirteen. But you know we're still doing good offensively and defensively at this mm -hmm. point, and we're getting the ball out to midfield. Um, and what hurt us? We had a couple crucial turnovers, and um, and then. We had a, a couple plays that we, we didn't quite execute like we're capable of executing. And when you play a SEC defense, um, you know, like those guys, boy, you better take advantage of every opportunity that you get. Well, at this point here, uh, the, the racers weren't getting uh, huge chunks of yardage, but you were being uh, very consistent here, four and five, and you got a couple of first downs. Uh, but finally, I think you had to punt it away here with about 237 to go in the first half. Yeah, well, that was Paul Rice there. That ended up being a first down, and we're actually trying to milk the clock. The, the score's 27 mm -hmm. to 13, or 14 at the time, um, and, and we that was a big first down. Um, so we're trying to milk it. We're trying to go in um, down 27-13, and here we, we come off the block. Dwayne Brady on the run. Um, we're forced to eventually punt the football. Um, they go down, they don't have very far to go, and they get a field goal as time expires at the half to make it 30-14. to 14. Okay, so we're at half of Missouri and Murray State. We'll take a break here with Coach Hatcher, come back with the second half on the Racer Report.
like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. There's enough of this golf already. I want you to go. Golf no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why have you got a laptop? I want the cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks, welcome back to the Racer Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher. Don't forget, Murray State at home, Saturday home opener against Campbellsville, 6 o'clock here at Roy Stewart Stadium. Hope that you'll make it out for that home opener, and it's also Senior Day as well. Uh, Coach, down at halftime, you got a whole other half to play. We're going to go ahead and run the second half highlights here in the game against Missouri. Uh, and this is where, uh, you know, it's your fourth straight year opening up on the road against a, a big-time school. This is where... You know, you got the heat going, you got more depth on the other sideline, but even in the face of that, you guys finished this game and you kept competing all the way through. Well, we did, and it would have been nice to come out and, and have a, a little bit better successful drive mm -hmm. um, offensively, um, but we get down and, and, and we don't, we're not able to do much with it, and um, you can see Jamal Berry there carrying the football, and um, here's, a, here's a third down play, and they, you know, we would have got the first down had the ball not been batted down. Um, so we had to go to a little bit more cut block in there. So we're forced to punt, um, and then they come out, and um, we do a good job here. Um, have a bunch of people around the football. I think that's Anthony Hayes, a captain, uh, right. making the tackle. Um, and then all of a sudden, uh, the quarterback gets loose, and um, you know, here we go. We're hustling down the field. Well, at least we knock him out of bounds. And right now, we're just trying to milk the clock and save the pads and go home the best we possibly can. And they do a really nice job of hitting the seam route on us. And you know, at this point, um, you know, our guys were—I could tell—we were tired. The heat had gotten to us. And and the other thing is just how big they were. We finally we just wore down. And um, here we, we we try to force one down the field. Mikhail gets hit as he's throwing it um, for an interception and you know that was allowing them to score kind of quick and mm -hmm. um, you know to be honest with you here's Walter I think he had four catches and we did a nice job we had an even balance with our catches Paul Rice actually led the team um, in receptions and here's one if Paul just keeps running we probably convert the first down but we're forced to punt and um, I thought our coverage teams were well in the special teams area um, I thought we kicked the ball uh, pretty good throughout the course of the night. A lot of positives. Um, here you can see there's Chris Dansby, 35, um, on, on the tackle. Perry Cooper, 45. John Thorell, 26. Um, got a lot of guys getting some action in there. Um, the guys really liked their new uniforms. Um, um, they're a lot lighter and um, they breathe a little bit better. Um, uh, but you everybody, see, everybody loves your new helmets. Well, well, I appreciate that. And at this point, we got all the backups in the game. There's Parks Frazier um, throwing to Jeremy Harness, who threw the touchdown pass earlier. And Parks did a good job. You know, at this point, um, we dominated the fourth quarter in time of possession. And um, here's a little quick pass to Jordan Morrow. And Parks ended up being six of six on the evening. Was very efficient. Um, I thought that Marcus Holiday from Memphis, number 24, came in and ran the ball well. Um, and I really thought our O-line um, did a nice job of blocking there late in the ball game. So here we are trying to get some younger players some, some good reps and um, get ready to go to the house, go rest up, and get ready for the next ball game. Okay, well there you see the final uh, and uh, some of the stats. Uh, uh, that were included in this game. The Racers had 16 first down, ended up with just under 300 yards total offense. Uh, and, and Coach, when you talk about turnovers, 
Miller had the three interceptions. Uh, I think you guys only you guys forced one turnover, the fumble there. Was there another one, or was um, it just the one? No, that was it. Thought, and uh, yeah. you know, the one of the turnovers, you know, is a batted ball in the mm -hmm. air, and, and and then one of them had a receiver fall right. down, and um, may not have caught the ball, but I don't believe it would have been picked at that mm -hmm. time. So, um, you know, all in all, good day. You know, one thing you got to remember about Mikael, that's really his first action as a quarterback. He played a few plays at Ole Miss against Central Arkansas, but mm -hmm. other than that, um, you know, hey, he's this, a new guy. This too. is it, and um, and I thought we did. I thought we did enough good things to excite me moving forward. Absolutely. Well, we're going to take another break here in the Racer Report with Coach Hatcher. When we come back, we'll hear from Walter Powell. We got to go back to Missouri this weekend. We'll do that next on the Racer Report. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Enough of this golf already. I'm with you the golf. Golf no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. I go because my friends are here. I go because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go to get a better job. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons. The Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. doing it's summer let's hit the beach Mom? you need a Pepsi Ooh. Yeah. let's have some fun Ooh, all right. <laughs> summertime is Pepsi time you gotta work on that tan bro hi folks and welcome back to the racer report with head coach Chris Hatcher Murray State now home from a 58 14 defeat at Missouri and it's time to look ahead to that home opener Saturday against Campbellsville. But first, we had a chance to catch up with Walter Powell afterwards. Our producer and editor, Ben Tidwell, talked with the Peyton Award candidate after the game in Columbia, Missouri. What are some positives you can get out of this game? Some positives that um, we only ran about, about eight, eight plays for real, and we got a whole bunch of stuff in our, in our, in our trick book. So, I mean, and on top of that, we're just going to come out strong, and then we're going to finish stronger. That's what we're going to do. Well, some positive thoughts there from Walter Powell. He's become one of the leaders on this team. But, Coach, you know, when I look at these games, uh, you know, Murray State playing Louisville, Murray State playing Kent State, it, it does give your team a chance to go to the big stage because uh, we want your your guys to think they could play at that level, and that's their chance to show it. Well, it's a it, I say it all the time. It's a lot of fun until the kickoff. And, uh, you know, but <laughs> yeah. it was it was a lot of fun yeah. in that first quarter because yeah. we were hanging. I mm -hmm. mean, um, they're shooting yeah, well shoot into with the those second guys. quarter for a while. Um, so you know, there for a while we had a lot of hope. But um, again, I, I say it over and over. I thought our guys mm -hmm. we were not starry eyed um, defensively. Um, you know, Missouri, they were, to me, they were a lot better than Kent State. They were a lot better than Louisville. We played them a couple of years yeah, ago. Right. Maybe not quite Florida State. -ish. Offensively, it's the best offense that we faced um, since I've been the coach here. So, um, again, I thought we battled. Nobody was um, scared out there and um, saw a lot of positives. So, uh, Missouri, I think they've got Toledo next week. Racers come home, take on Campbellsville. Two weeks in a row here at home, Coach. you got to love it. Yeah, I do. I'm glad to be off that bus. It was a long ride. We didn't get back to four in the 
the morning, um, mm -hmm. you know, and it was hot and everybody was tired. And then you, the thing about it is you got no rest for the weary. You got to you come straight on into the office, get ready to go to work, get ready for Campbell's. Okay, so we're getting ready for a big time Saturday. It's senior night. Uh, usually wait to the end of the season. We're going to do it at the home opener this year, senior day. Here at Roy Stewart Stadium, 6 o'clock when the racers take on Campbellsville. We're going to come back in just a moment, take a look at some of the other things that lie ahead. We'll do that next on the Racer Report. I go because my friends are here. I go because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go to get a better job. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons. The Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. Hey, ladies. Ah. Enjoying the film? Of course not. Because this is our movie! And Dr. Pepper 10 is our soda. It's only 10 manly calories, but with all 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. It's what guys want, like this. Catchphrase. So you can keep the romantic comedies and lady drinks. We're good. Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Enough of this golf already. I want you to go. I'm no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Hi folks, welcome back to the Race Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher. Before we go any further, let's just kind of take a look at the schedule ahead. I'm sure you've got your Murray State Pocket schedule so you can get that out and follow along. But two weeks in a row here at home for the Racers against Campbellsville and then Missouri State comes in. And then uh, Coach, it's back out on the road. Uh, we go to Bowling Green after that and then we open up OVC play against Jacksonville State. So uh, the games start coming now. You, you've made it through a, a successful fall camp. Uh, uh, I can't remember a, a team having uh, probably more positives than this team had in the in the in the fall, and now you've gone to Missouri and you stood toe to toe with the Tigers and you're coming back home. Well, we are. We're glad to be back home. You know, this month of September is going to really test us. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we we have um, two games here at home, and then you know we play another Division One A opponent, and then we go back on the road for to Jacksonville State right. for the opener. Um, you know, headed into the season, um, you know, I felt like if we could be three and two coming out of September, winning the right three, the right three um, yeah. <laughs> you know, that we would have a shot at being an OVC championship contending football team. And um, But Campbellsville's a big game coming up. They're all big games. You only get 12 of them a year. You know, it's one sport. You, you practice all the time, but you get very few opportunities to play. Monumental game coming up this week and need a big crowd out there supporting our team. That's right. Uh, Coach, it's senior day. It's a little departure from the way we've done it in the past, but this will be a neat time right off the bat for everybody to know who our seniors are and how much we appreciate them and their families. Well, I'm excited about it because um, traditionally, you know, we get some large crowds early mm -hmm. in the I hope this year is no different um, mm -hmm. to, re to recognize those young men. And then the other thing is, I um, like to get it out of the way, you know, it just takes you out of your routine and whatnot. But, um, but we got a lot of good seniors that have been through an awful lot here at Murray State, good and bad, mm -hmm. uh, and um, with coaching changes and whatnot, and they've hung in there. So um, hopefully we get a big crowd and it'll be a nice way to kind of kick off their season as opposed to end their season in the traditional way. And, of course, uh, Coach, uh, there's no other team in America that uh, runs a thoroughbred racehorse around the track after a touchdown. That's one of the things that just still gets me about Murray State, seeing Racer 1 out there running around and, 
Uh, just can't wait for that, too. Maybe, of course, you want to make the horse tired. Well, we do want to make the horse <laughs> tired. Um, I think the horse has a certain amount of um, laps that it's able to right. run, and we like to max that out each and every Saturday at home. Okay, we're going to take another break. We'll come back here and wrap it up with Coach Chris Hatcher next on the Racer Report. Enough of this golf already. I want you to go. Golf You're stupid. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers. Locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. We're back here on the Racer Report, and before we leave today, we'll have the, some of the best calls from the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. That's always a big part of our show to, to end up with. But, uh, Coach, uh, I always enjoy watching you on game day. You're, you're fidgety, and you're a little nervous. How did you handle Saturday? I, I know you, you kind of get off yourself a little bit, and you just kind of focus on what you got to do and, and let it happen. Yeah, game like that's usually the that's the easiest one. The yeah. less nervous that I'll be all uh -huh. season long, just because the you know, the 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 other team is um, supposed to to beat you down pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, did I believe we could hang with them? I did. Mm -hmm. I really did. I felt like we had a good plan, and I feel like we got a good team. And um, but you in those games like that, when you're going on a different stage that your team's not accustomed to, right. um, the best thing to do is just be loose and let the guys go play and have a good time. And we approach it that way each and every week. Um, now from here on out, we play some teams at our our, our level at, of ball, our level, right. and um, and that makes that's a little more nerve wracking than playing one that's a higher division. Yeah, well, I, I to, to me, I'm just so excited that it's football season. You hear, hear talk on radio and TV, everybody's excited about football. Man, I love it, and I love it when the racers are playing football. And we want you to be here Saturday to be part of it. Six o'clock kick against Campbellsville, Coach. It's always a pleasure to thank you, Dave, to visit with you. And uh, we'll look forward to next week. And as we leave you today, here's the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. First and 10 at the 18, trips left. Miller, two-step drop, throws across the middle. It is caught. Pow. He's at the five. He's into the end zone. And the racers score. They take the lead 6-0. Jackson, Miller has it. Fakes left, throws sideline, has a man open. Down at the 50, 45 out of bounds. Somewhere shy of the 41 is where they're going to put it. Miller and shotgun, Brady to his right. They throw, it's going to be a little razzle-dazzle. Pass back to Miller's a pop-up, catches it at the 10, spins away from his man, and he takes it into the end zone. Unbelievable, Mizzou fit in hook, line, and sinker on the throwback from Harness to Miller.